Hey guys, it's me, Travis with BetKarma.com, doing a little video here to show you guys how to use our new MLB SPF predictor, also known as the Prize Picks predictor or the Monkey Knife Fight predictor. Uh, we've done a lot of these videos for NBA, but since we have a lot of people that only play player props on Prize Picks and Monkey Knife Fight for MLB, I'm gonna make a video specifically for you guys. So as of right now, I believe that our uh, the strikeouts, which is what I pulled up here, is hitting above 80% since we launched this. I believe nine or ten days ago, uh, the top strikeout prop for Prize Picks is now. Uh, I think it's actually above eighty percent at this point. I have to pull up the sheet here in a second, but um, but yeah. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. So this right now, what you're looking on the screen is the SPF predictor. You see on the screen we have uh, a sorted sortable column for Monkey Knife Fight. If you want to play MLB props on that, and also also Prize Picks. So let's say you're going to use this uh, specifically for Prize Picks. So. You'll just go over here and you'll click this little difference arrow here. This works exactly the same on mobile. It's just, uh, of course, a different layout because um, it's mobile. But uh, but yeah, so I just sorted here. So this is strikeouts, which I have as the default. Uh, this is one of the most popular prop player props for MLB to bet on. It's also my favorite player prop to bet on as well. Um, so we just sorted right here brought by percentage difference for price picks. Now, what does that mean? What, is, what does difference mean? What is this percentage number? So it takes the line, so we have uh, the price picks API built into the system, uh, this model, and so it takes the line currently available at that second on price picks, and then it takes what our algorithm is, our proprietary uh, projection algorithm. It says that Dylan Bunny is going to get 4.73 uh, strikeouts for today. So we take that, we then take the line, we're like, okay, that's a 1.23 strikeout difference, which comparing the 3.5 to the 4.73, is a 35.14 percentage difference. Now you'll notice there's a lot of different colors here as well. It's graded based on how great it is. So I already know that you guys know that 35 is higher than 21, but we're gonna make it easier to be able to pinpoint it with your eyeballs uh, as soon as possible by looking for those hard orange colors. This one right here, this background is a hard orange, and then you see it gets lighter, 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 and it gets the white. Avoid the whites completely. If you are looking at a prop and you come to the SPF predictor like, hey, let's just say for example, you're looking at, uh, you're looking at Hernandez, all right? Let's just say you're looking at Hernandez. You're like, I don't know if I wanna go under, over him. I'm thinking I'm leaning over, whatever it may be. And then you notice that the projection is pretty close to the line, only a 0.47 difference, which is a 9.4 percentage difference. Even though it's recommending the under because the projection is less, this is not great enough to put your money on this prop. So if use this as well. If you're gonna do your own research and you're not sure like, hey, I'm leaning in this direction, you can do your own research first, then come to this tool, and then be like, you know what? This is not as sexy of a prop as I thought it was, not gonna play it. Or you can do it vice versa. You can use this tool first, you know, just write down a bunch of the uh, the top props we have here. Like, let's just take, let's say you take these three here, this 35, this 21%, and this 20% here. So Dylan, uh, Alec, and Kyle. And then you do your research. Like, let's say you only wanna play a two pick, but you have three options. So you're gonna do your research, like which one, Based on your own personal research, are you leaning towards the most? And then you can pick your two favorite ones from that. Or you can play the no research card, which also works fine as well, where you just look at this and just pick two without doing any additional research. Of course, more research is recommended, but it's not a necessity because we have such a high accuracy projection algorithm. So if I was gonna do a player prop right now, for example, which I do these videos uh, seldomly every once in a while, typically like once a week now, I'll go and, uh, I'll, I'll look at it and I'm like, based on this, with me doing zero research, this is what I'm playing on price picks because this is what the model is telling me. So of course right now, with strikeouts being my favorite one, um, the Dylan Bundy being a 35 percentage difference and also the highest true difference as well. I call this a true difference, true value. Uh, the thing you wanna watch out for is the line being incredibly low. So let's say for example, uh, you know, these numbers are looking great. This is a solid orange background, but you know, this number is really low. Let's just say it's one or like two or something because maybe they're starting some relief pitcher like, you know, Tampa Rays uh, used to do. I don't know. I don't, think they, I don't think they do it as much anymore, but you know how they always started a relief pitcher uh, and it was insane, but it worked out sometimes. But, um, but always watch the line. Don't just blindly go on the difference, the percentage difference of the color. Make sure the line... Um, is not is not too low so when i say that it's mainly mainly for like the nba side that if i see the top prop for points not fantasy points but points and it's an over under of seven but the next best one is an over under of 20 
I'm more likely to go with that 20 because there's more there's more risk. The lower the number is, even though your brain thinks, well, it's easier to hit that number because it's a low number. Well, it's a low number because they're not getting, you know, they're not getting the possessions or they're not getting uh, the passes when they're open or whatever it may be. There's a lot of things at play is why Price Picks Monkey Knife are setting these lines the way they are. So you want to go with the guy that's at 20 if he's a top prop. So if he's the second best prop and his point, this is NBA still, and his point total is at 20, and the top prop point total is at, uh, like I said, 8, I'm always going to go with that 20 because the chances of a guy who's over under is 20 to go over 20, to me, even based on this model and everything, if they're both up there at the top and their, uh, their percentage difference, the chances of the guy that's getting 20 as his, his line of going over 20 is higher than the chances of a guy hate going over eight, unless of course there's additional news or everything. But if if you're blindly playing with no, looking at no news and no anything whatsoever, just this tool, if I'm blindly playing based on this based on the model for NBA, I always go with that one that has uh, a higher line um, that's also really really high ranked on this uh, projection model. So anyway, back to MLB. So you know, right now I would just go okay. Dylan Bundy, he's got the highest true difference, the highest percentage difference. All right, so I'm already going to lock him in. Now, something else you want to pay attention to, this is huge, is the sportsbook consensus. Not, not every uh, not every MLB prop has a sportsbook consensus because uh, not every, not every sportsbook has like a hits plus walks category or runs plus RBIs category um, or even a fantasy points category. So I know they have total bases, strikeouts. So pay attention to the sportsbook consensus. And not you, you see here it's not filled out for every single one because not every single book uh, is offering you know strikeout props for every single pitcher. You think they would, but they don't all the time. So uh, let me see if I can find an example here. Hold on. Um, so let's look at Jose here uh, for the Houston Astros. So this is not a sexy prop. It's a light orange. It's a 0.46 difference, 15%. It's not a sexy prop, but I'm using this as an example for my next point. Pay attention to the sportsbook consensus. And even if you're not playing on Monkey Knife Fight, pay attention to the Monkey Knife Fight line. If they are using the exact same stat, which in this case is strikeouts, and they are, you notice that Monkey Knife Fight has the over-under at 3.5. Price Picks has the over-under at 3, and the sportsbook consensus is 3.5. And so if you're playing on Price Picks, and this is the lowest line out of the sportsbook consensus and also Monkey Knife Fight, and the projections are recommending not it's not recommending over what well, is over in this case barely um but if it's recommending the over and this is a sexy orange with a sexy number i hope you enjoy my term of using the term sexy here props are sexy uh betting is sexy <laughs> anyway if you have the site you want to play on is lower than monkey night fight and sportsbook consensus and the recommendation is recommending over that is the best that is the trifecta of what you're looking for when using this tool. That is the best case scenario. Of course, you would need also, I'm not going to touch Jose here, even though that's the case with this one, because the projection is not far enough away from uh, from the line. You can, I'm not saying it's imp he's never, he, it's impossible for him to go over. I'm just saying this is not as juicy enough as possible for me to lock it in on my end. You can, if you play a lot of uh, strikeout props on a daily basis, by all means, you can do that. But always pay attention to that. Um... And now in this case, the five is less than uh, on price picks is less than Monkey Knife Fight's 5.5. There's not really a percent uh, sportsbook consensus coming in for many of our sportsbook partners, so you don't really have that trifecta opportunity. Um, let's see if we can find that anywhere else. Okay, right here as well, Frankie Montas, Montes, Mont Montas. I don't know. Anyway, so his projection 6.08. Monkey Knife Fight has him at 6.5. Price picks has him at 5.5. Sportsbook consensus is 6.5. So he is a full strikeout lower. The monkey on prize picks, the monkey knife fight, and the sportsbook consensus. And if you don't, I, I think I explained that before, but if you don't know what that means, that's all of the traditional sports books. You know, DraftKings, FanDuel, all of the ones we're partnered with. Um, it takes that strikeout prop from all of the sites and it says this is the, the median or the mean of all of the uh, sports books that you have, or the average, if you will. So, this, of course, is another great scenario where 5.5 is a full strikeout less than these two other sources, but the projection's not high enough to make this. Um, a sexy enough difference or background color, if you will. So always, that's another thing to pay attention to as well. So right now, the top prop, which is Dylan Bundy, uh, over 3.5 strikeouts. That's the same as Monkey Knife Fight, so you don't really get that trifecta or evil, or even the double uh, option there. Uh, something here to look at, Alex. 
Manoa is 4.31, which is a full 1.1 under his strikeout, uh, out under the difference or under his strikeout line. And the sportsbook consensus is also less than 5.5, even though it's half of a strikeout difference. It's still kind of a backup situation. Um, just these are just so many things. You, like I said, it's a zero research thing. It's something that I just go into whenever I'm telling people. Uh, they're like, hey, what do you? Uh, whenever I do a free play, because this of course is a premium tool. They're like, hey, what, you have a free play today, and if I do make a free play, like I said, there's zero additional research. I don't look at anything under the sun, MLB related. I pull up the tool. And I say, okay, let's see if I can find anything. Okay, these let me sort by percentage difference. Okay, this one's lower than the sportsbook and monkey knife fight. Boom, I'm gonna lock that one in. Let me go to a different stat. Look at the same things as well. So even though we have a sportsbook consensus, and even though the monkey knife fight line is the same as Prize Picks, for this argument of showing you how I, how I'm gonna create a two pick, uh, is I'm going to say, okay, so even though this is the same, there's no sportsbook consensus. I, I like this uh, over 3.5 with a projection being 4.73 in this game. I mean, I'm, this is like 60 minutes from the time I'm recording. So if I happen to get this up in time and you lock it in, then you'll see. But even not, you can double check. Uh, and then my second favorite prop for prize picks is the fantasy points. So there's nothing really popping out here. There's actually no color whatsoever on this side. Um, you'll see there's a vast difference in the projection of the line on Monkey Knife Fight because they have a completely different scoring system than... Um, than price picks so based on the scoring system that price picks has our projections are not crazy different than um than the uh, than the lines of price picks there's nothing really there right now if we look at here for um for the fantasy points for hitters there is a lot of solid and this is the game that started uh this i think as of recording it's probably already in like i don't even know what inning this game's already in the middle of something uh, looks like it's the end of the second. So right now I'm just recording this end of the second. So let's just see Cubs. So the Cubs right now are the top three for fantasy points for hitters projections. So right now it's the top of the third. Cubs have nine runs, nine runs. So let's say uh, Ian Happ is over 5.5. He already has an RBI single. So RBI single and a run. I'm pretty sure he hit on that 5.5. Uh, Wilson Contreras has an RBI single with he has a two RBI single to run, so he hit that as well. And then Suzuki, who's been on fire, he is uh, he's two runs with the RBI and he's two for two, which I'm pretty sure he hit the uh, the 6.5 line as well. So as of this recording, which this game started at 2:20, I'm recording this at 3:10 p.m. and it's only the third inning. Those top three Price Picks props have hit. Top three. These Cubs right here have they've all hit their uh their projections. Well not their projections, but they've all hit well projection in sense of they all hit the over of their uh of their price fix line there. Um but you see there's no sportsbook consensus because the sportsbooks don't have fantasy points for hitters, especially based on the specific scoring of monkey knife fight and price picks. But total bases is something that sportsbooks have. So here you're gonna see crazy high numbers because uh, price picks is a lot of 0.5 total bases, but they also do a lot of 1.5 total bases. So just make sure you're paying attention to um, more so this number here, the true the true difference, as opposed to like oh 194 percent. So our system's saying that uh, Suarez for the Mariners late tonight, he's gonna have 1.47 total bases, which is I mean it's a pretty good chunk. It's almost a full total base higher than than the over there. Uh, so we're recommending the over. And then, like I said, compare the sportsbook consensus and Monkey Knife Fight lines. Monkey Knife Fight right now has this player at 1.5 total bases. So even though the sportsbook consensus is the same, that's still a flag, uh, a positive flag, uh, or a check mark, if you will, when deciding uh, what to roll with here. And then, like I said, there's there's tons of other tons of other options. So this is the RBIs and runs. I'm not a huge fan of this category. Um, I feel like total bases, strikeouts, fantasy points are a lot easier to hit than specific runs and RBIs. Um, but a lot of people do like this because you only, you see right here, the line for price picks all the way down is 0.5, but the RBI plus run line for Monkey Knife Fight is 1.5 for everything they offer. So it is a safer play in a sense where the people, the players on price picks only have to get one instead of two on Monkey Knife Fight. But still, I don't, I'm a huge fan of this prop. If you are, it's fine. You can still use this for that. Um, but yeah, so if I had recorded this earlier than, uh, if I recorded this like two hours ago, my play would have been Dylan Bundy 3.5. And because there's, I would go to this second, because it's my second favorite category, I would notice there's nothing sexy here for prize picks. 
and I would go to hitters next and then I would say okay so let's see here it's the pretty good one here so I would probably go with Wilson Contreras which it already hit and if you want to do a three pick we can go with that whatever you may this is simply to explain how my brain thinks and how your brain should think when using the SPF predictor this is an extremely accurate tool um, built specifically for our partners at price picks and monkey knife fight now if you're saying well Travis what if I want to bet on a traditional sports book? Can I still use this for that? Yeah, you can use this tool. I mean, this is the strikeouts thing. If we're if you're looking at a sports book that has 4.5 and you're using this and it says 4.81, then you can make that decision based on this. But we make it easier for you where we have a top props that actually uh, is specifically for traditional sports books. So right here, you see a lot of total bases. Uh, this is a karma grade of A+. Plus, so we use the percentage difference to determine an A+, plus all the way down to a D grade. And we only show on the top props page here props that are a minus and higher but let's say you want to bet on a specific game so he's like okay travis i want to bet on the uh what was that cubs game you were just talking about i want to bet on i want to bet on the cubs game but maybe i don't see any top props for the cubs well you go directly to the game like i said in live odds like i just did you click on view props it'll take you to that game specific prop predictor it shows all the props for all the players in this game. So if I want to bet on something in the Cubs, looks like on a traditional sports book, hits right now. Ian Happ was over nine point. Uh, is his projection is nine point point nine eight hits, and right now I can get his over under at point five. Of course, he already hit that. Wilson Contreras already hit this. Uh, RBIs as well. So both of these Cubs ones hit. So if you want a specific team or a matchup or a game, you can go to live odds. And if I'm explaining this because if you sign up for premium, you get all this stuff. You don't get like one tool. You get every premium tool that betkarma.com has, which is why I want to show you this real quick. So if you want to view an ex a specific game, click live odds in the top here, click on view props, and then it'll take you to that specific game. If you only want to view the best props from any game, it doesn't matter. Traditional betting wise, this top props up here shows you all the A minus and higher grades from all the games. And then of course, if you're only focusing on price picks and monkey knife fight you can use the other tools if you want to but this tool is specifically designed for those um for those apps those sites those partners of ours so if you have any question whatsoever about how to use this to win a majority a lot more of your mlb price picks plays and M nba as well because you know you can mix and match and we do have for nba you literally just change this drop down menu here from mlb to nba and then you can do the same exact thing for the nba games uh, during the playoffs but if you have any questions whatsoever we have channels in our discord specifically for kind of a Q&A a learning process of your first time and you're like hey I'm looking at this should I go with this one or this one or what does this mean whatever it is we have a channel it's called uh, well for the MLB it's called MLB prop predictor as soon as you sign up you automatically get access to that channel uh, or the NBA prop predictor channel as well we want you guys to win more often so we built a tool to help you do it if you have any questions let us know and uh, good luck with all your props guys